Hello everybody, Raspberry Barrel here, and today we'll be reading another Star vs. the Forces of Evil Queen of Muni biography. And now again, we'll be reading a biography by a new creator. This creator is Estrella Sentry on DeviantArt. Please go check her out and see the rest of her art. And the biography we'll be reading of hers today is Selene the Emotionless. Please forgive me if I stutter, hesitate, or mispronounce anything, and for any noises in the background, and let's get into this new story. Selene the Emotionless. Hated by her family, being motionless, here is the broken story of Selene the Emotionless. Selene Butterfly, the Emotionless. Born 524 AM, died 586 AM. Was queen 540 AM through 566 AM. Married to Storm Watterson. Children, Saturnia Butterfly. Selene Cynthia Butterfly was born at Core and Eleven in the year 524 AM, and was born into the family of Queen Calatrix Butterfly and King Sapphire Stone. First of Calatrix's five children, Selene's name meant the moon in High Munion, and could also be tractated as Selene, uh, which also means moon, and also in High Munion. But due to the name of Queen Selena, the Shy, Selene was left by royal historians with recorded name Selene. Newborn carried four point lavender stars with yellow crescent moons inside. Girl inherited all looks of her father, as it was mentioned before, Sapphire Stone. Selene was winning siblings throughout the next three years. Calatrix gave birth to twins. Sky and Venus Butterflies in the year 525, a boy Zeus Butterfly 526, and a girl named Steriana Butterfly in the year 527. They were the children of Lords Toucan Redbird, Castor Firefly, and Derek Flowers respectively. Year after year, Selene witnessed how her mom and dad quarreled over the smallest things almost daily. Little Princess found comfort only in her grandmother Cosmica and her grandpa Reginald, who were disapproving of their daughter's affairs and behavior towards her little daughter. In the year 527 AM, week after Calatrix gave birth to Asteriana, King Sapphire was found dead in his room. According to Calatrix, he was backstabbed with the crystal knife of the Stone family, which belonged to Sapphire's sister, Crystal. Calatrix ordered to arrest Lady Crystal Stone and her husband, Lord Toucan Redbird, and bring to be judged by the Magicly Commission. Trial ended with the murder of Lord and Lady, bringing their cousins, Emerald Stone and Dove Redbird, as the Stone and Redbird ministers. In the year 528, at Selene's fourth birthday ball, Calatrix made out with Greek fields, claiming that she had way more important things to do than a ball for a four-year-old dumbhead. This was the closest Cosmica got to killing her daughter. In 530, in Zeus's fifth birthday, Calatrix decided to celebrate it with everyone, even letting maids and servants into the ballroom that night. But when Selene's birthday arrived a month later, Calatrix was again caught making off with, this time, Emerald Stone. In 532, during the Moonlight Fire tragedy, while trying to save Selene from her room, Calatrix died due to lack of oxygen. She was buried in the rebuilt crypts of Butterfly Castle. Until the year 538, Cosmica was Butterfly Kingdom's regent due to Selene's young age. In the year 538 AM, a few weeks before her death, Queen Mother Regent Cosmica gave her granddaughter the royal magic wand on her 14th birthday. It metamorphosized itself into the crystal handler with sapphire encrusted crescent shaped gemstone. Selene was a skilled and curious student. She reminded me of Queen Estrella, the astronomer, and her determination to learn spells her grandmother made before her. She always listened carefully and tried to do everything perfect. A few weeks later, in the beginning of 5:39 a.m., Cosmica Butterfly passed away due to natural causes. Queen grandmother was 105 years old. Selene Butterfly's most powerful and the first spell she made was the, the Mind Eclipse spell. This spell can kill your enemy with one's deepest nightmares, and if you cast it on yourself, it allows you to forget the things you don't want to remember. 
Full instruction can be found in the first pages of Queen Selene's chapter in the Magical Book of Spells. Her grandmother's death struck Selena right in the heart. She fell into seven years lasting depression. Her face was emotionless. She whispered instead of talking, and every morning was seen with puffy red eyes and in black dresses. Selene stopped smiling for a while, almost refusing to eat something, and accepted visits only from ministers and her siblings. Selene's coronation ha happened about half a year later, in St. Venus's Day of 540. In the spring of 541, Queen Selene unexpectedly getting married to her best friend and her main supporter throughout all her life, Storm Watterson. Yet 16 years old, Queen Selene and her King Storm married in the throne room. That also was the first official ceremony since Grandma Cosmica died, since by Selene's royal decree, the mourning period was established until Her Royal Majesty Selene was getting married. Nine months later, Selene found herself pregnant with her first child. Unfortunately, Selene suffered a miscarriage. This threw Queen into depression even deeper. Storm was also crushed down a bit by his wife's miscarriage. They ultimately focused on their duties until the year 546. In the year 546 AM, on Gravnock 16th, Queen Selene finally gave birth to a healthy baby, who was called Saturnia, the gift of the sky, in Loam Union. Selene finally was as happy as she was when she was a child. She finally was who she could proudly call herself. She finally was the queen, wife, and mother she always wanted to be. She finally found the happiness she lost with death of her parents and grandmother. She finally was the one who her daughter was proud about. She finally was herself. This was also the times when Selena started to work on the fixing of the Butterfly Kingdom's affiliations and diplomatical relations with the other neighboring kingdoms. Selene was getting back to normal, while Kingdom was getting worse and worse day by day. Saturnia's first years of life were marked by the constant presence of her parents. Selene and Storm were doing and giving her everything the princess wanted, but Saturnia was secretly giving it away to orphanages and lonely children she found on the streets, and the poorest people, sometimes even whole families. Saturnia's hand in marriage was promised to Prince of the Harmony Kingdom, Prince Richard Harmony, in the year 552. Selene explained herself before her daughter with, I'm doing everything you ever asked for your whole life. Please be so kind and do something for me just this once. It worked and Saturnia set off to her fiancé's kingdom for the next two years to build ties with her future husband and his family, and also to educate in politics and history of both Butterfly and the Harmony Kingdom. Meanwhile, in the year 554, King Storm was kidnapped by monsters during their invasion, which was called Selenian Blood Invasion. For the countless victims from the both sides, both of them was Lady Dove Redbird and her daughter Marlene Redbird, in her butterfly form, according to many, believes that yes, Selene had one. Selene, with the help of the House McKnight, searched through the whole forest of certain death. With her husband nowhere to be found, Selene dived into her depression even deeper than before, and this time she never went back out of it. Saturnia returned to her homeland to celebrate her 10th birthday in 556 AM, but only found her mother all alone crying and sitting on her bed, which was near the window. It was gloomy and rainy outside, so the weather matched the mood of the, the reigning queen perfectly. With the disappearance of her husband, Selene stopped attending the Royal Ministry Council, making her daughter basically doing all the job. While Selene's sister, Venus, attended the negotiations with other kingdoms instead of Queen Selene and Princess Saturnia. Venus was supposed to give birth to her baby a few months later, so Saturnia helped her aunt in everything she had to do. Thus, she was learning to complete her future duties. Saturnia always wanted a younger sibling, and with the birth of her cousin, Orion, her dream partly came true. Saturnia and Orion were very close to each other, and being each other's best friends, they treasured their friendship and helped each other. In the year 560 AM, Queen Selene Butterfly passed the wand down to her daughter Saturnia during 14th birthday ball. This was the first and the last time Queen was seen in public in four years after the Selenian blood invasion. 
Queen's ministers demanded abdication of Saland from the, from the position of Queen, unable to hold the supposed authority she had at the court any longer. Selene named her sister Venus as the Queen's regent until Saturnia came of age, 20. The next six years, Princess Saturnia spent with her future husband back in Harmony Kingdom. Saturnia and Richard were very happy and passionate together. Their love for each other led to Saturnia's pregnancy in the year 565 in Butterfly 24. Yet Princess, but already Queen Harmony, Saturnia Butterfly gave birth to her first child, Skywin Butterfly. Selene was informed about the birth shortly after, which caused a smile on Selene's mourning face. It was, however, the last time she would be seen smiling. The year 556 came, and the new Queen of Muni was crowned, Saturnia the Responsive. Selene welcomed her daughter Saturnia and her granddaughter Skywin at Administar 12 of 566. The same day, coronation and wedding day were held. But, but no matter what, Selene didn't want to go out of her room, lovingly caring about her granddaughter Skywin while all ceremonies were taking place. Actually, as Skywin grew older, Selene started to be more happy and relaxed, though a smile didn't come to her face. Selene spent a lot of her time with Skywin when she was little, and, and teaching the toddler princess to talk, write, sing, this one Skywin hated very much, and especially politics and negotiational learning programs. As Selene feared for her granddaughter's safety, she demanded from Saturnia and Lady Swan Redbird to update the army and royal guard. Saturnia and Swan agreed, and for the few years, Butterfly Castle became the safest place in the kingdom. However, the safety of Butterfly Castle was not enough to prevent Lady Periwinkle Flower's attempt of murdering Queen Saturnia. Lady Flowers was stopped by Queen Mother Selene, who heard the noises since her granddaughter's room was close to hers. Periwinkle Flowers was executed at the dawn week later. Curious Facts According to the records of the eyewitnesses of Lady Periwinkle's execution, Queen Mother Selene took the role of the executor upon herself and brought justice with her own hands. Evidence of this fact is Queen Saturnia's journal entry. Today is the day that the justice took place after again. Yes, Periwinkle was finally executed with a hammer before all the nobles, currently ministers, and people. I can't imagine something more humiliating for House Flowers than that. In fact, only Periwinkle deserved what she's got with an attempt of life of the reigning monarch. May she suffer in the underworld for her crimes. The murder attempt made Saturnia pay more attention to the castle guards and the royal security army. She took an attempt and revisioned the warrior forces Butterfly Castle and the kingdom had. This calmed the paranoid Queen Mother Selene and the now cautious Queen and King. Meanwhile, Princess Skywin reached the age of five years old. Princess, like her grandmother at her age, was a happy smiling child, but though she more preferred a book to playing with other noble children. Princess loved to spend time in her grandmother's chambers reading with her. Most often, Queen Mother and Princess Skywin read the journals of previous queens, one per week. I personally witnessed one of such lessons, and I couldn't tell that this is truly the most valuable and kind thing Selena ever did, to educate a respectable and well-mannered lady out of Skywin, and she was very proud when she achieved her goal. With reaching the age of seven, Skywin became a little more bored to read with her grandmother and started to prefer to read alone, of course in the library or in her room. In this period, Skywin started to remind me of Queen Waxine Butterfly, the Betrayed. When Saturnia, Richard, and Selene heard about it, they started to be more close to, to Skywin, never letting her be out of their at least royal guard sight. If Skywin was lucky to escape for some time, Selene was already bursting into hysterics, while Saturnia in her butterfly form and Richard with seven royal guards were searching for the princess. That's when Skywin's rebellious side began to appear, and she started to protest against such paranoid rules. Furious, Skywin blamed Selene for making her mother as paranoid and depressed as herself. Selene didn't accept this critique her granddaughter developed. 
thinking that she was too young to say anything against her caretakers, but most importantly, her grandmother. Meanwhile, Saturnia scolded Skywin for the first time in seven years of one's life. Skywin's protest crushed down as quickly as it arose, and the princess learned her lesson. According to Saturnia, she was happy that her daughter learned it, in theory, instead of learning it in practice. On Skywin's ninth birthday, Selene gave her granddaughter an amulet with an encrusted ruby gem. Skywin loved it instantly. She treasured it to the point of wearing it every day afterwards. The next gift she received that day was that of Lord Gorik Flowers' daughter Lily, the golden ring with the encrusted amber hourglass gem on the top, with words, Happy Birthday, Your Highness. Lily gave her gift to Skywin, and she liked it, but not more than an amulet given to her grandmother, of course. Skywin's courtship with Lord Zeus Firefly's grandson, Archimind Firefly, started to take its full speed in the beginning of 580 AM, in the year Skywin was supposed to inherit the royal magic wand. In the third of Rabbit in the year 580 AM, Princess Skywin Butterfly inherited the magic wand and created the new book of spells, since the old one with history of previous queens was destroyed by the fire of 580. Thanks to that, queens were running the copies of their chapters at their journals. Skywin restored most of the spells and information held by the original book. Like her grandmother, Skywin proved to be skilled, attentive, and careful student of mine. Skywin really paid attention to my lessons, and in the end became the most respected and powerful Queen Butterfly dynasty ever had, just like she was supposed to. Selene was extremely proud of her granddaughter and admired her intelligence, grace, and natural beauty. During the period between 580 AM and 586 AM, the War of Butterflies and Fire took place, the first war conflict with the Underworld Kingdom since the reign of Queen Bella the Cursed. This war scared Princess Skywin with the loss of her parents in the end of the first half of the war. In 583 AM, Skywin Lavender Butterfly was crowned queen during one month of peace between the sides of the Butterfly Kingdom and Underworld. The chronology of the events during the War of Butterflies and Fire will be recorded in a separate chapter dedicated to it. During the days of Skywin was on the battlefield, Selene took care of the strategy of the Butterfly Kingdom, security, and the castle and safety of the capital's, capital's citizens inside the perfectly guarded castle. In the year 583, Selene crowned Skywin with her crown. The only thing that changed was the gem. It was now crystallized amber. Skywin married only after the end of the war, and unfortunately, Selene wasn't lucky enough to witness Skywin's wedding with Archimand Firefly. Selene's final months of life weren't how she expected them to be. Because of the blue plague breaking out right in the middle of the war, Selene decided to help nurses from the cross clinics around the Butterfly Kingdom, and unexpectedly, she caught the plague. Many people already mourned for Queen Grandmother Selene. Many people went to pray to Goddess Venus to leave the royal family and Butterfly Kingdom alone, and to the plague to go away. But Selene's situation wasn't getting any better, as well as the situation in the kingdom. Millions of people were already dead. Most of them were the warriors fighting on the battlefield. Skywin was as nervous as no queen was before her. She was nervous and sad about her grandmother's fragile health. Skywin became pregnant three months before Selene's heart stopped beating, and her breath was no longer heard. Six months later, Queen gave birth to the twins. Hypnelia Butterfly, a girl with her father's hair and her mother's eyes, and Astra Butterfly, a girl with her mother's hair and her father's eyes. Both were wearing purple butterflies as their cheek marks. Selene Butterfly died in her sleep due to plague infection and was buried in the crypts of Butterfly Castle. Her royal majesty was 62 years old. The first year of the Selenian Depression, 5.39 a.m. And that was the biography of Selene the Emotionless. Thank you, Estrella Century, for recommending that we read your biography. It was a great story. Please go check out their deviant art to see the rest of their awesome art. I hope you all enjoyed listening to this biography. And I do have a couple more biographies that I plan to read next. But if you have any ideas of biographies you'd like us to read, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for listening, and have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Raspberry Barrel, saying goodbye.